We know Shohei Otani is the heavy favorite for MVP in the American League. We know Ronald Acuna Jr. is the heavy favorite for MVP in the National League. But Acuna's had injuries before, and Shohei Otani could get traded to a National League team. So chances are he wouldn't win the MVP in the American League. So, can you? I just blew the <laughs> lid off this, right? You're blown away. So who do we think, if something were to happen, is that next MVP guy. That's what we need to dive into. So let's take a look at some candidates in both leagues because, again, Otani could get traded. Something could happen to Acuna in the National League. Mookie Betts is on pace for 46 home runs. That's pretty alarming. Luis Arise is flirting with a 400 batting average for the low payroll Miami Marlins. Yeah. Who do you think would be the MVP if it's not Acuna? I think it's going to be, I would be Mookie Betts. That would be my pick. I think for me, I'm going to take somebody not even on that board, Matt Olson. If Acuna's not the guy, Matt Olson is on pace for almost 55 home runs. Why not? 260 average, I'll take him. If Luis Arise shows up year one in Miami and hits 400 for a team that goes to the playoffs with I'm that in. payroll, I'm all Luis Arise for MVP. <laughs> what about in the American League? If it's not Otani because he gets traded, we got a pair of Rangers, a pair of Rays. Who do you think would be the guy? And I like Wander Franco. He's leading all American League in war. This guy's playing a prime division, a prime position at shortstop, and they got the best record in the American League. Well, to your point, shortstop, I would go Corey Seager. Shortstop, 350 batting average right now. He keeps on that pace. I know the home runs are probably down, but, I mean, it's still, he's on pace for 20-something homers, you know, over 100 RBIs playing shortstop. That's MVP caliber. Randy Rosarena is uh, the face of the race to me, and mm -hmm. he plays every single day. Don't sleep on Adolis Garcia, another yeah. Ranger, yeah. on pace for over 40 home runs and over 130 RBIs. So those races aren't set in stone. What about AL Cy Young? Because we've got some pretty good candidates to pick from. Uh, I'm going to have you two guys pick who you think uh, among Cole, Avaldi, Shane McClanahan, and Framber Valdez. Yonder, who do you got? Look, I, I think for me it's Framber Valdez, 2-5, this guy. It, recognizably for the second half last year, nine and two, he has been unbelievable. I like Fran Valdez. This is going to get him over the top to win that division. He's Mr. Quality Start for a really team is. that's been thin in starting pitching. He's the most valuable starter, no doubt, for Dusty Baker's group. What about you, Alex? Who's who's the Cy Young in the American League? I'm going to go with Garrett Cole. He's going to get that elusive Cy Young that he hasn't been able to get. I mean, he's had great seasons, obviously, in the past. Just you know. Hasn't been able to get enough votes to be a Cy Young Award winner. I think it's going to be him this year. He's having a tremendous season. I think it's a lot more of that as the season goes on. I think Shane McClanahan comes back. Talked to him at the All-Star game. He's feeling better. I think McClanahan's going to claim the Cy Young. I like that. I, I mean, the guy's win-loss record. ERA strikeouts, amazing. As for the National League, look at the candidates that you can pick from. Zach Gallen, Clayton Kershaw back in the mix. Spencer Strider's K for nine is almost at 15. Marcus Stroman's the polar opposite right-hander. He didn't need to strike people out, but he's been very good and very durable. Yonder, who's your guy in the NFL? Spencer Strider. I think for me, this guy is a no-brainer. It's 10-plus strikeouts every single time he goes out there. He's leading the National League in whiff. This guy is not a fun at bat. I love if this guy goes, the Atlanta Braves go. And you know what I love about the Braves, too, and him? He's a guy that's going to stop the bleeding. Anytime that you lose two in a row, Spencer Strider comes into the mound, you're pretty much guaranteed to win. I'm going with my guy, Zach Gallen. A little bit of a bias here. I get to catch him in Arizona. I get to see that, you know, progression over the course of a guy that's extremely talented, had a lot of good stuff, but then was able to kind of put it together. And, you know, he's a tremendous pitcher. When you look at his numbers between, you know, his win-loss record, the innings, the, K, the, the Ks in, uh, uh, per nine, his ERA, I think he's got the total package to be, you know, he's, the, I think, the, the, the front runner now, and I think he ends up winning it. His ERA is a little higher than future Hall of Famer Clayton Kershaw. I always lean Innings. towards future Hall of Famers. And if he has a big second half, could you imagine at this age, mid-30s, <laughs> he adds another Cy Young to his Hall no, of Fame class? That would be awesome. That's what I'm rooting for. Let's go mm -hmm. Clayton Kershaw.